Hey, this is Adam from Figmatic, and today I'm going to be showing you how to export your slide deck designs from Figma uh, into Google Slides. And to do that, we need to install a plugin called uh, Pitch Deck. And if you haven't already done that, you can install it by going to the top left uh, Figma icon in the toolbar here and clicking on that. And then if you go to Community or Plugins and uh, just go up to the search bar at the top, and type in the key phrase uh, pitch deck. So that's P-I-T-C-H-D-E-C-K. And underneath the plugins tab, you'll see a result come up called pitch deck presentation studio. And if you haven't already installed it, you'll see an install button on the right hand side here. And by clicking on it, it'll change to say installed with a little checkbox. And once it looks like mine uh, on the right hand side here, then you're all good to go and we can switch back into our Figma project. So today I'm just using a Figma file that I that I designed myself, uh, which covers Dieter Rams's 10 principles for good design. And this is just a, a simple uh, deck that I came up with in order to show you uh, roughly what it looks like to export it. And um, so to export this to uh, Google Slides, all we need to do is right click uh, go to plugins and click on pitch deck presentation studio and this is going to fire up the plugin that we just installed a moment ago uh, the pitch deck plugin and uh, once that loads it's basically now just going through all of our frames here on the left hand side in our figma design and it's treating all of the top level frames as um, as slides so each frame is considered a slide um, to the pitch deck plugin so that's what it's doing now. It's just going through all those slides, uh, loading in all the layers and uh, rendering all the images. Okay, so now that that's loaded up, we can see here that all of our slides have been added uh, from our design. And as you can see here, we've got all of our layers from Figma uh, loaded up into Pitch Deck. And the thing you might notice is that the layer order is uh, the opposite of what you see in Figma. So in Figma, we've got intro at the bottom and principle 10 at the top, but in our pitch deck um, plugin, we can see intro at the top and the last slide is at the bottom. And the reason for that is when you copy paste frames in Figma, uh, as I was doing when I was making this presentation, every time you copy one, it will add it next to the original frame, uh, which is good, but uh, weirdly it kind of adds each layer on top of each other in this uh, layer panel here. So it's basically getting loaded in in reverse in some sense. Uh, so Pitch Deck automatically flips that order in the plugin because it assumes that you've been designing it that way and it will automatically uh, reverse that order so the top one becomes your first frame, hopefully. Um, if that's not the case, what you can do is reorder these yourself and it's, it's really easy. So all you need to do if you do need to change the order of these slides for any reason, is if you hover over the little hover uh, drag icon, you'll see a grabbing cursor appear. And if you click and hold your mouse and drag that slide up or down, uh, you'll be able to very easily reorder it in the list of slides. Um, so I've just reordered this one to number five. I can reorder it back to the top. And that's just a really easy way to uh, reorder your slides without having to touch uh, Figma, the design file in Figma. So you can see here when I move these, it doesn't impact my my ordering or anything to do with the slides or the frames in Figma. Um, the ordering is just meant for pitch check to know what order you want the slides to be in. Um, so that's just a really, really quick and simple way to, to reorder your frames. Um, the other thing that you'll notice underneath the slide preview is that we've got some speaker notes. So speaker notes are added to every single slide as a text box or a text area. And it's just a free text space for you to type whatever you want or paste whatever you want. And these won't be shown to the audience or anyone that you're presenting to. Um, these are purely used for adding some little notes or um, talking points to each of your slides. So you can put different notes in each slide and we'll be able to see those later uh, when we export this presentation from Figma um, into Google Slides. Um, so that's that's how those work. Um, the other thing that you probably noticed is that these slides are being animated. 
and that's being done over here on the right hand side using uh, these animation tools. Uh, the thing worth noting is that because we're going to be exporting from Figma to Google Slides, uh, these animations um, unfortunately won't be carried across to the Google Slides. Um, these animations are just designed to be used for the Pitch Deck URL, which is the default uh, export format. And uh, we won't go into that format in this particular tutorial. I do have another tutorial on that on the Figmatic YouTube channel. If you're interested in how that works, you can check out that video. Uh, it goes for about 30 minutes and it'll give you a complete overview of how all the animations work um, and what it looks like to present uh, an animated version of your pitch deck um, using things like uh, remote controls and controlling the deck from your phone and, and having laser pointers and all this kind of cool stuff. Um, but today we're just going to be looking at how to uh, export the Figma design to Google Slides, um, which again won't carry over these animations. So uh, please don't spend too much time on the animations if you're only going to be exporting to Google Slides um, from Figma. Uh, because they, they unfortunately won't get carried across, but um, you will be able to add animations if you want to in Google Slides itself once we make that jump from Figma uh, to Google Slides, which I'll show you in just a moment. Okay, so now that we've got all that uh, covered, I'm, I'm happy with the ordering, I'm happy with my speaker notes, uh, I'm happy with the designs, they're all completely matching up with, uh, with the designs that I've got in Figma. And now I want to export uh, to use this in Google Slides. So what we need to do is click on the export format drop down here. And uh, we're just going to go down to the PowerPoint file option. So if you click on PowerPoint file, and then you'll see the button has changed to say export PowerPoint. And that's what we want to do. Um, this will make sense in a moment. So if you click on export PowerPoint, uh, what that's going to do is it's going to go through all of our frames and convert them into slides and more specifically convert them into a PowerPoint file uh, with all of our slides. So the PowerPoint file is ready. Uh, it's going to give us the option to save it to our desktop. Um, so I'm just going to do that now. Uh, you can rename this if you like. So I'm just going to rename it um, to Deodorant slide example and save it to my desktop. Okay, so now that's on my desktop. What I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize um, Figma and I've actually already got a blank Google Slides document ready uh, in the browser. So all I did was just uh, I'm signed into my Google account. I've got um, Google Slides open so if you just search for Google Slides or however you usually get to Google Slides uh, and open up a blank template. And once you've done that you can go to File and then go to open and then under upload uh, what you want to do is you want to grab your file that we just exported so in my case I've already got this uh, file on my desktop now called Deodorant slide example I'm going to drag and drop that into this little window here so you can see I've got it ready to drop I'm just going to let go and that's going to upload the PowerPoint file that we just exported from Figma uh, it's going to upload it into Google Google uh, Slides. So it's just finishing uploading now. Uh, once that finishes processing, you'll see here that it's actually opened it up already uh, for us. And there we go. You can see that we've got uh, all the slides that we just had from Figma. So everything from Figma is now in Google Slides and it's looking really, really nice. Um, you'll notice a few things here. I'll just run through, run through a few things that, that I think is uh, pretty neat. Um, so if we go from, go from the start, we've got uh, each element is, is individual. So I can, I can actually move these around if I want to, uh, which is really cool and change those. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is down at the bottom here, I've got all my speaker notes. So the speaker notes that we just had a look at in Figma, they've all been pulled across into Google Slides. Um, I can make that bigger if I want. I can edit these and add more notes or get rid of some notes if there's, if there's too many or if I don't want them anymore. I can just get rid of those. Um, so that's all completely editable. It's been carried over. Um, so that, that's pretty cool. The other thing that we can do is, as I mentioned, none of the animations that we set in Figma um, get pulled through into this, this Google Slides. 
but we can animate these elements now that they're in Google Slides. So if you click on anything you want to animate, in this case, I'm just going to use this image um, of the radio. And if you click on the animate button up here, that's just going to reveal the animations settings for your Google Slides. And so I've got the image selected and now I can basically just click on any of these animations and play them. And you'll see here if I advance the slide that that comes in uh, as you'd expect. So I can uh, stop that, I can change it, I can make that fly in uh, from the right maybe. Um, and then play that again. Okay, so that's pretty fast. Um, but you can see we can essentially animate it the way uh, that we'd like in Google Slides. So all these elements are individual. They, uh, they can be manipulated on their own and you can pretty much go to town on your animations however you like in Google Slides. Um, so that's, that's pretty cool. That means we can, we can pretty much move all this stuff around and uh, add animations where needed. So the one thing to know is that the text layers are not editable. Um, and the reason for that is that they're being exported as uh, SVG images. Um, and that, that just means that you don't need to install um, fonts. So if fonts are missing, your slides are not gonna look really uh, wonky and uh, totally you know, uh, Times New Roman or whatever the fallback font might be. Um, the, the idea is to make them as close as possible to the original Figma designs. And, um, and of course that's just not gonna work in some cases uh, when you don't have certain fonts installed. If you're loading this up on a different computer, um, it's just not gonna really work. So for now, uh, at least in this version of Pitch Deck, it will export these as images which are totally independent of each other, but um, unfortunately they can't be edited in Google Slides uh, if you do need to change the text. Um, but having said that, if you do need to change the text, all you need to do is go back to Figma, rerun the Pitch Deck plugin, and re-export um, the PowerPoint file and and uh, open it in Google Slides, and you'll uh, you'll have a brand new file with with all your updated text. Uh, so while it's unfortunate it's not able to be edited uh, in Google Slides at the moment, uh, it's currently that way because the design is kind of taking. Uh, precedence, so making sure it renders exactly the same way as you intended from your Figma design uh, once it gets into Google Slides is the top priority at the moment. Uh, so yeah, that's that's basically what you can do there. Everything else is as usual. You can basically use Google Slides as you already know how to or if, you, if you've used it before. Um, all this is doing is essentially giving you the starting point of whatever you design in Figma uh, with your speaker notes is now in Google Slides automatically. You don't have to create all this or copy paste it from Figma um, or if you can or, or whatever, uh, export your images, import them, none of that crazy stuff. Uh, you could have a few dozen slides and it'll import them all straight away and, and that's gonna be really a huge time saver if you do wanna use Google Slides to present something you've designed in Figma. Okay, so that's pretty much it. I'm gonna jump out of uh, Google Slides now. I think we've we've covered all the basics of what you can do in there. You can obviously look up um, Google Slide tutorials if you wanna get more into the animation side of things, but uh, I won't be covering that in this tutorial. Okay, so back in Figma, uh, as you can see here, it's just notifying us that the PowerPoint file was exported correctly. Um, so I can basically close out of that now. I don't need to, to run it uh, at the moment. But if I do need to reopen it and export another PowerPoint file to open in Google Slides, um, all I need to do is go back over here on the right-hand side column in Figma, and you'll see a little pancake icon with the word Pitch Deck next to it. If you click on that, it will relaunch the Pitch Deck plugin in Figma for you. Um, and that just means you don't have to go to the right right click menu, go to plugins, go to pitch deck presentation and find it. Uh, you can just quickly relaunch it from the sidebar. Um, so that's everything for today. Uh, I hope this has been a valuable tutorial. If you've been wondering how to get your Figma designs uh, exported from Figma to Google Slides, uh, this is the way that uh, is, this is the easiest way to do it uh, using the pitch deck plugin. And uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much how you, how you go about it. Um, 
there'll be more tutorials if you're interested in other formats. Um, you can go to the Figmatic YouTube channel and you'll be able to follow along with other tutorials. Um, but for now, uh, this one is a complete guide to uh, getting your designs from Figma into Google Slides uh, with just a few clicks as we just saw. Um, so thank you as always for watching and uh, I'll be back very soon with even more tutorials uh, just like this one.